first of all, move the timeline to the point where you want to start the music. For this demonstration, let's start from the beginning. The audio tool is right over here. It looks like a musical note with the word audio. Okay, tap on audio tool, and then we will have four options. We just want sounds. Okay, tap on sounds, and that will bring us to a, a gallery okay, of music, actually. So if you look at this default gallery, every piece of music is like 30 seconds or less. This is not the one I want to use. I want to use longer music, and I want to use royalty-free music, not copyright music. So that means I have to download my music. So how to access my own downloaded music? The command is here. Your Sounds tab. I'm going into the Your Sounds tab. I will see this selection. I have to go in deeper. I want From Device. Okay, I'm going to select From Device. Now, here you go. These are my downloaded music. Before you can have music here, you have to download them, right? Where can you download the music? Let me recommend. I will usually get my royalty-free music from YouTube Audio Library from your YouTube Creator Studio. In another video, I will show you how to get music from YouTube Audio Library. Check out the link below. Now, there's another place which you can get royalty-free music for free. It's bandsound.com. One of my favorite downloaded music from YouTube Audio Library is this timpani beat. Listen to it first by, by tapping on it. This is the music I want to use. I will tap on the green plus button. Tap on the green plus button to add it to our video. So if you look at the timeline, you can see an audio waveform below. On the top is our video track, and this is the music track that we just added. Just to let you listen. Are you looking for a gimbal that's compact and lightweight? Let me show you what I've got. We can move the music anywhere on the timeline, left and right, so that it can start at any time we want. For example, if I drop the music here, the music will start on the second scene, right? Just to, just to demonstrate, let me play back. Are you looking for a gimbal that's compact and lightweight? Let me show you what I've got. When I'm not using it as a gimbal, I can use it as a tripod. For now, I want to start from the beginning, so let me move the music to the front. I'm going to pinch in. The music is very long, it's about 3 minutes long. What we want to do is to shorten the music. There are two ways to shorten the music. Of course, we can go to the other end, select the music clip and start trimming in. But the faster way would be to do a split from here. You have to select the music clip first and then press on the split tool. Split tool at the bottom. So now you see the music clip is split into two. It is the back piece that we don't want. So select it and tap on the delete tool. Okay, delete. Let me stretch open, spread open. I want the music to end together with the end of the music. So let's trim it. Trim. If you don't know how to trim, look at the first lesson. If we play and listen. Are you looking for a gimbal that's compact and lightweight? Let me show you what I've got. The music is as loud as my voice. I want to lower the volume of the music. So how do I do that? If I think that the volume is too loud, I will need to select the music piece, music clip in the timeline, and then choose the volume tool, right? over here, the first one, volume 2. By default, it's at 100. Okay, to make it, to bring down the volume, to make the audio softer, just slide the slider down. If you want to make it louder, slide it up, of course. What I found in all my videos is around 20% is a good area to, to soften the music. Once that's done, tap on the check mark on the bottom right, and I'm going to play back for you to hear. Are you looking for a gimbal that's compact and lightweight? Doesn't that sound more comfortable? 
Listen to the end of this piece of music. The link below. You heard that? It ends abruptly. So how do we make the music slowly fade out? Select the music by tapping on it in the timeline. Then there's a command. The second tool here is the fade tool. So let's select the fade tool. Okay, so I'm going to adjust the fade out duration. Okay, for music to fade out, what I've found is two seconds works best for me. And then once that's done, tap on the check mark on the bottom right. Okay, I'm going to play back for you to hear. Link below. Okay, did you hear that? The music fades out. How do I remove the audio from this clip? Okay, all, all I have to do is to tap on this clip and then go down to the volume. Tap on volume 2, the one with the speaker icon. Slide all the way, slide the volume control all the way to zero, which is mute. There's no mute button. Once that's done, tap on the check mark at the bottom right. So we're going to make the volume up and down. Let's do audio ducking. Okay, when I'm not talking, I want the volume to go up back to 100%. And over here, when I talk again, I want it to drop back down to 20%. Okay, watch carefully. This is a little bit advanced. Okay, at this point, volume is 20%. So from here, it will, I want it to slowly climb up back to 100%. So how do I make the volume climb up back to 100%? I'll place the timeline here in, just over the playhead. That's where I want the, volume to, the music volume to start picking up. And select the music clip in the timeline. And then if you look up here above the timeline, there is a diamond icon with a plus symbol. Okay, tap on the diamond icon. That is called a key frame. Okay, so we just added a key frame. See a diamond shape? That's the key frame, that diamond inside the music clip. So we need to add two key frames. So I'll just move it slightly to the, slightly more to the right, to the left or right, whatever and add another keyframe tap on the diamond so if you look closely there are two keyframes two diamond shapes okay let's whenever the diamond is over the playhead it turns red so let's bring it over to the second diamond or second keyframe until it turns red and that's where we adjust the volume back to 100 percent okay let's go back into the volume adjustment tool and bring it back slide the slider back to 100 percent okay once it's done tap the check mark on the bottom right bottom right and let's listen from here ready let me show you what i've got i'm going to insert a few more keyframes Okay, at this point, when I start talking, I want the volume to go down again. So I have to introduce one keyframe and then another keyframe. So this second keyframe, I want it to drop to 20%, volume 20%, there off, right about there. And time on the check mark done. Oh, I have to check, I have to listen. Did you like what I just showed you? You can get your own. If you like what I just showed you, click the thumbs up and share this video with your friends. It's not over yet. I have some more functions to show you, right? If I, I've just shown you how to mute your video clip, but let's say if your speaking is too soft, can you make it louder? Here it goes. So I'm gonna make the audio, my, my speaking audio louder by tapping on the video clip and then going to the volume tool and increase it. 
okay, to about maybe 130, thereabouts, 130, about there, just around that, around there. Okay, when it's done, just press the check mark and let's play back and listen. In the next tutorial, I'll be showing you transitions and special effects. Now, if you really like this video, click the thumbs up and share this video with your friends. And if you haven't done so, subscribe. This is Adrian Lee. See you in the next one. Okay, so that is the live stream. So now, is there any lag? Let me know.